Greetings, unfortunate audience. Dylan, take us away. I have no idea what we're doing. Uh, okay, so since Avengers Endgame comes out kind of tomorrow, yeah, uh, yeah a... let's take a look at dumb, S- bad leaks of the plot. Now, there are well, actual leaks of the plot out there that I have read. I know well, what happens, but well, these hey, are uh, dumb. So, this is going up tomorrow, so would tomorrow when it's tomorrow be when Endgame is out, or the day before it comes out? So, technically, there will be showings on Thursday night, and it will be out in certain countries on Thursday so okay so tomorrow tomorrow, but today it is but also tomorrow tomorrow but today but But also also tomorrow tomorrow. okay that make i I think i got the gist of it that makes sense all right so you want to go over some horrible leaks right yeah yeah some pretty bad dumb ones all right I, i think i got the point of this so uh let's let's start with the classic um, it should be the Maxim article I sent you. This is the classic oh. amongst the Marvel Studios spoilers subreddit. Um, oh, this goodness. was back before Avengers Endgame even had a title, and before <laughs> the trailer came out. Did so, they, does it have a name in it? Yes. Oh. So, <laughs> let's talk about... Let's. You don't even have to go to the article necessarily, I'll just read it. I'm going to read it with you. Okay. And so, probably put it on screen. Have you gotten to it yet? Oh, I'm there. Let's go. Okay. Marvel Studios logo appears. We get a glimpse of the Battle of New York from 2012 Avengers. Loki is shown looking shocked and baffled as he is on top of the Stark <laughs> Tower. There is a flash of blue light as the camera pans back, cuts to black. Next, we see a Wakandan throne with M'Baku at the helm. He's surrounded by his new <laughs> Kingsguard, a mix of the Hill Tribe and Dora Milaje. I think that's this how it's pronounced. Al- this is already amazing. Shuri and Banner are seen working on a new project in the lab. Black Widow, in full gear, is in Hawkeye's family home from Age of Ultron. Basically, everything is thrown all over the place and broken. Nat is studying some type of map with multiple photos and locations on it. A quick shot of Thanos is shown with a long sword walking down an alleyway in New York City. Next shot (laughs) is a dark hooded figure with glowing eyes aiming a bow and arrow before shooting towards the camera. One to two visuals of the Quantum Realm, Scott Lang, no suit is shown running around uh, running through a Wait. park dodging explosions <laughs> who could Sh- this mysterious bow and arrow person be is <laughs> it the of- only superhero that uses bows and arrows listen yeah it's ronin who is technically hawkeye but anyway shot of space thor and yeah. valkyrie are <laughs> aboard a kree ship thor says if the stories are true you're our universe's last hope if such a thing even exists anymore. The next shot what kind is of line is that? The next shot is an older, determined Tony Stark walking through the new S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, Avengers, Avengers facility in upstate New York. Dude, that He's guy's in, drifting in space. <laughs> He's in full S.H.I.E.L.D. attire and carrying an orange briefcase. Banner, wearing spandex, is seen oh. running from something, looking terrified. <laughs> the next shot is Ant-Man appearing out of a flash of light and landing in a desolate place. I'm not gonna lie, this might tell where my brain goes, but I read that it's flashlight. (laughs) (laughs) We see it from his point of view from inside his helmet. He looks left to right and to his left again and says, What in the camera focuses on Vormir and its stars? (laughs) This sounds like a mess. Next, a shot of Rocket Nebula modifying some new (laughs) weapons in the lab rocket says when can we try this bad boy out they both smile at each other and fist bump (laughs) oh no we get our first glimpse of iron man in his red and gold nanotech armor hulk falls from the sky and lands in front of him thanos in full armor smiles hulk smiles back the next shot is in Japan. <laughs> War Machine, Nat, and Steve, in their full Avengers gear, are surrounded by the Yakuza. Uh, Hawkeye, <laughs> Ronan, walks through wait, everybody. Wait, wait, hang, hang on. Were you, were you nutting at Yakuza or Hawk, Hawkeye? 
Uh, Yakuza. <laughs> oh. I, I wasn't was even not, nutting. I was, I was just laughing. <laughs> I, I was nutting at Hawkeye, but anyway. Hawkeye, Ronan, walks through everybody from behind them and approaches the Avengers. There's an in- intense exchange of looks between Clint and Natasha. Next shot is at the Sanctum. Uh, Wong is communicating with Doctor Strange's <laughs> soul via a portal. Cuts to black. Gray-haired Tony Stark <laughs> and Ant-Man are in a post-apocalyptic New York City. The screen flashes back and forth multiple times through multiple scenes. We see Captain Marvel floating with her fists on fire and her eyes lit up. Thanos in the Soul Stone with young Gamora <sighs> screaming at him. Loki and Thor f- this fighting. This is just a giant run on stunts, I think. Loki and Thor fighting off Chitauri together and Tony handing Steve a brand new shield in the Wakandan throne room. Cuts back to Tony and Scott. Tony <laughs> opens the orange briefcase as Scott hands him an illuminated bracelet. Tony asks, how is this even possible? Iron Man and Ant-Man are shown traveling through the quantum realm. Tony and Scott are back in the Battle of New York from 2012. The final shot before the title reveal is an infinity stone disappearing from Thanos' damaged gauntlet. He abruptly gets up and puts on his armor. His face goes from extremely infuriated to a menacing smile. Title reveal. Uh. Avengers Annihilation. (laughs) Stinger. The Hulk is training at the new S.H.I.E.L.D. facility with Black Widow and Steve. Steve notices that Hulk oh, has been no. training nonstop as of late, so he asks why. Hulk responds in Banner's normal <laughs> voice with, My rematch is coming real soon. I can feel it. <laughs> He's, he wouldn't say that. Nobody would say that. That's so, cheesy. No. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty accurate to the actual trailer that uh, came out, don't you think? <laughs> no, it isn't. What are you talking about? It's not even called Annihilation. It doesn't even start with an A. Did I, people did people believe this? So for a while, people did believe that the title was going to be Avengers Annihilation. Yeah, including yourself, right? <laughs> yes, because it made way more sense than Endgame. But anyway... I'm not saying it makes sense Endgame. I... It also fits with just kind of the, the more dreading titles that the previous ones have had, like Age of Ultron and Infinity War. It's like, Annihilation fits this. I think Endgame is like a <coughs> perfect... Uh, Endgame just is too punctu- on the nose. Just punctuation for... Endgame is too the on very, the nose and it I, I think it's I think it's good punctuation to mark an end to like and it also doesn't have like know. any grandness to it it's just yeah end game also it means the russo brothers fucking lied they're like eh, it's not been uh anything said in a previous movie or no they said that it's not a line said in infinity war they said it was said in previous movies but it's not in infinity war do you Which think dr strange th- says we're in the end game now do you think if they didn't call the first movie Avengers Assemble in the UK, they would have called it Avengers Assemble? Yes, I 100% do. Interesting. So because the UK is just terrible... Because the UK like, th- fucked us over. This is, like, this is the worst thing UK's done. Like, second is Brexit, but, like, first thing the UK's ever done... The UK can suck my dick. The first horrible thing the UK has ever done. My rematch is coming real soon. I can feel it. Mm. (laughs) Alright, where do you want to go next? I like how horrible that is. Uh, How about we go with uh, some of these shorter ones here that you sent? You want to go with one of the the, the 4chan leaks? Uh, Yeah, let's go go with that uh, that first one you have. Alright. The first act of the movie shows a parallel between Thanos and the Avengers and how they cope with the decimation. Cap goes to those group therapy sessions. Natasha follows a lead on Clint. Thor and Rocket go on a quest to find (laughs) Thanos. Hi, I'm Captain America. It's been five years since I've saved the world. (laughs) You failed to save the world. No, it's been five years since he has saved the world. Uh, he's been failing to ever since, and that's why he's in rehab. Which really doesn't <coughs> lead nowhere. Uh, War Machine stays in the Avengers HQ, 
doing some work on his suit. Later on, he is one of those who receives Ant-Man at HQ. There is a scene with citizens protesting. Gamora's sacrifice took a toll on Thanos. And later on, when he finds out, whenever he finds about the Avengers plans, he reaches he his breaking point. The... Shut yeah. up. He <laughs> okay. reaches his breaking point. Avengers 4 draws a lot of inspiration from Lord of the Rings 3, especially with the <laughs> Thor, Rocket, Valkyrie assembling an army plot. Rocket and Valkyrie constantly need to calm down Thor, who is unstable. <laughs> There's an <laughs> epic training montage with that final walk from the TV spot. Did he get struck by lightning again? The snap also took a toll physically on Thanos. That's why he uses his armor. <laughs> there are several Outriders attacks. Heavy focus on the relationship between Tony and Steve. TV spot scene where Cap straps his, straps his shield is when he delivers a speech straight from the comics. Cap, Captain Marvel action scene uh, <laughs> where mostly filmed on reshoots. They wanted to have an idea no, from the reshots. directors. I am not bothering. Reshots. From the directors from her own movie. There is a scene where Iron Man and War Machine combine both armors to form some type of cannon. Hmm. Hawkeye has a scene where... It's Power Rangers. Hawkeye has a scene where he has to protect at all costs the Stark Gauntlet. And Avengers the Assemble? More like Power Rangers Assemble. And secure the entry of the Quantum Realm. No word on the most of the third act. The only thing I know from... It is a scene which combines a funeral and a memorial, which has a Stan Lee speech on what defines a hero. Hmm. I don't know about that, champ. I, I do... I do wonder what the Stan Lee cameo is going to be, because apparently it's the last one, which is unfortunate, because I was hoping it would be far from home. It's disappointing. It is? Oh, well. Um, my ears feel aroused right now, but, um... <clears throat> let's, let's just go to the one with Doctor Strange in the picture. <laughs> Alright. Here's some just... That <laughs> picture. Here's some just general leaks, I guess. It's better than anything I could possibly Photoshop. It's beautiful. Annihilus was considered, but they switched it for Kang. They swapped the rights for the characters like they did <sighs> Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Uh, Tony becomes Kang in an alternate version. The white suits come into play when they decide to travel back in time but get cucked by Thanos. <laughs> Mordo leads a group of villains in the end. Claw and Loki are with him. Yondu and Starhawk lead the new Guardians. No, characters are rezzed dead. from Snap and the Eternals, led by the Living Tribunal. Come and greet them. Uh, Thanos dies about three times in this movie, LOL. Thanos ends up joining with everyone else to fight Kang. Kang is OP as fuck. Odin, Janet, Captain Marvel, and Rescue combine a force beam that, holy shit, those effects. Tony dies, everyone else lives. Ultron leads the Dark Avengers. Thanos gets in court with the tribunal, and I fucking swear to God, it's fucking Keanu Reeves playing Adam Warlock. I might be wrong, but if I am, it's a fucking clone. Eternals movie is Thanos teaming up with Warlock to fix the universe. Tony is left adrift in space and ends up with the Eternals. They give him tech, and he becomes immortal. This version of Tony, Kang, wants to remove all heroes from existence, so threats like Thanos never arise. At the end, some major characters all get a hold of one of the stones, and Tony, while inside Kang, I know that sounds... Channels a gauntlet. Mm. <laughs> he had himself to mm. use the energy of the stones to destroy Kang. He dies after that, exhausted. Thanos becomes a bitch mid-movie after being oh, killed nice. over and over. He simply accepts he fucked up and teams up with the Avengers. I might be missing some stuff. The movie was too long, made little sense, and was too much action for me. Um, I think you might have missed the entire movie. <laughs> um... <laughs> Is part of this a joke? Is this a joke, maybe? Just came from test screening in the UK. I'm not sure how, what to feel. There was a ton of scenes lacking editing. I think, and they might change a lot, but the movie should be around 3 hours and 15 minutes. It's non-stop quipping and clashing. Well, it's close to that. 
it's close. So what do you, uh, what do you think about that? Well, I, th- I think, um, <clears throat> Tony is gonna be inside Kang. Keep in mind, they legally couldn't have done anything with Kang because he's a Fantastic Four character. But yeah. they do kind of try to say, oh, they swept the rights for the character like they did in Guardians of the Galaxy 2 with uh, with Ego. But, like, no. No. Well, didn't. <clears throat> well, sorry, there's something in my throat, and it's like, come. No, it, it hurts, though. <clears throat> Listen, Will, we all know you're sucking my dick right now. I mean, you did say you wanted it on stream one day, or on recording. You know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, but I was hoping that it would be my girlfriend and not you. Yeah, well, I didn't really want to do this either, but, you know, view boost. Anyway, you want, you want to get that second big one out of the way? Uh, the the one with, like, the Joker pictures? Uh, the just the first one you sent. Oh, the first one I sent, the article? We got yeah. this covered? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright. <clears throat> would, 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 think... you, would you mind if I read this one? by chance go ahead this All one right. if i remember correctly seems a bit more reasonable oh boy well i'm gonna make it sound completely unreasonable so oh wait no it's not never mind anyway continue. oh well let's write down my alley then <laughs> every marvel fan has their own theories about how avengers 4 will wrap up the story that began in infinity war and by extension the whole of the mcu so far this plot leak in quotation marks that comes our way via the ever unreliable 4chan however allegedly lays out the whole story of the movie and though it makes for a fun read it seems a bit too crazy to be true i like where this is going things start off pretty acceptable with ant-man escaping the quantum realm arriving in the past and meeting a young hank (laughs) in order to devise a way of to time travel However, the wheels soon come off when Eternity, as in the cosmic comic book character, drops by to help them out, creating some time gauntlets for the Avengers to use. As has been theorized before, Thor then travels to Hell and makes a deal (laughs) with Hela to get an army of fallen Asgardians as he realizes what the Avengers is trying to do. Thanos sends his army to battle Thor. During the conflict, both the God of Thunder and Captain America perish. And this is all all in the first first act. act. I can't do it anymore. (laughs) You read it. I'm just gonna eat my chips in peace. The second act then takes the shape of the time-traveling nostalgia trip we're expecting. Movies that will be revisited apparently include The Avengers, the young caps recruited to replace the dead one. (laughs) Mm. (laughs) They go back in time just so they can be like, hey, Cap, you die. You want to join us? Uh, Wait, I thought I I saw... Cut that. That's a spoiler. (laughs) Okay. That's like well, a legit spoiler. It was in the tra- No, it wasn't in the no, trailer. No, it wasn't. It was not. Oh, Hawkeye- man. <laughs> Hawkeye pinches the Infinity Gauntlet seen in Odin's trophy room. With the help of Captain Marvel and Doctor Strange, who escapes Soul World. Okay, the heroes kill Thanos and the Infinity Stones are destroyed. Now... Here's where things get really crazy. It turns out that uh, the Thanos arc is wrapped up at the end of Act 2. From there, Eternity returns and proves to be the real Big Bad. It's revealed in a big Hmm. twist that he's actually Tony Stark from the future, (laughs) who's become a super being as he's hovered up the energy of the destroyed stones. In a second twist, Eternity <laughs> then reveals that he's also known as Kang the Conqueror, as in the Fantastic Four villain. Following that, there's another big fight before Strange kills the present Iron Man to stop him from becoming Eternity, and everything is well again. Oh, and the post credit scene sees Ultron return. Ah, uh, you know, yeah. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> is it Ultron yeah. Sigma, at least? No. Oh. 
see, well, I mean, these leaks are pretty consistent, so obviously <laughs> they're true. <laughs> right? I'm gonna... Yeah, sure. Yeah, they're true. Alright. And we've got one more for tonight. Alright. Well, I, I want you to know, I have a... I have one that I found as well that I would like to read to you when we're finished with this. I think this is a trailer leak. No, this okay. is a full. This is a plot leak. Black wow, screen. I cannot read this. <laughs> yeah, I'm reading it. Don't worry. Black screen. Voices talking about balance of the universe. Doctor Strange is met by the Living Tribunal on a strange dimension. It claims there is a great threat they need to fix. People assume LT is. Oh, the Living Tribunal is talking about the snap. Ant-Man wakes up in the past, meets up Hank Pym, who never met him. They work with the Avengers in the Battle of New York. Meanwhile, Captain America and Thor meet up with Captain Marvel and Hela, who is in Hell, and raise an army of undead Asgardians to avenge the Snap victims. Thanos kills mm -hmm. them all easily when they all jump on him. Bruce and Nat meet up that with sound, Clint. That sounds too overpowered of a villain. <laughs> like, that sounds dumb. Bruce and Nat meet up with Clint, now Ronan. Keep in mind that that would be the first act. Yeah. If that. Yeah. Uh, Bruce and well, Nat. Well, no, no, meet no, with... because the first act could be people talking about the snap for about 30 minutes. I guess, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bruce and Nat meet up with Clint, now Ronan. Stark and Nebula arrive to greet them. Rocket and Nebula share a moment. Past Stark then creates a gauntlet with the help of Hank Pym. Uh, oh wait, no, I skipped one. Meanwhile in New York, mm -hmm. when Thor and Loki are about to blast off, they are met by Eternity, who claims something happened in the future and explains Thanos and the quote-unquote snap. I'm sensing trends within all of these uh, <clears throat> leaks. I'll explain some of them. <laughs> uh, past Stark then creates a gauntlet with the help of Hank Pym. Ant-Man goes to the future through the quantum realm to bring this gauntlet to present time. Thanos goes to the Earth to meet Nebula. He senses something is off. He looks at both Eternity and Stark and goes a bit wonky. Banner, to save his friends, becomes the Hulk. Ant-Man arrives. Thanos kills everyone except Hulk and Ronan. Hulk uses the Stark gauntlet to fight Thanos. Ronan cuts Thanos' head off. Doctor Strange meets up with another version of Thanos and Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel doesn't do anything. Why are there two Thanoses? Uh, time travel. Mm. Okay. Which? Well, wait, wait, which, 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 which Thanos did they? Which Thanos did they chop the head off of though? Because if it was the first Thanos, then why does the second Thanos have a head? I don't know, but cut the second part out. Thanos should become headless horseman and. Now it's a completely different movie. That's why I don't it's know, three but hours cut long. this part out. There's, okay. uh, there's. Oh, really? Oh, my. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. Oh, do they? Hmm. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. So that's all getting cut out. I'm going to cut out your uh, audio only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Doctor Strange meets up with an- I already read that. Out of nowhere, Crossbones is attacking Captain America, Sam, and Bucky. Baron Mordo is helping Crossbones, and they are getting the upper hand until rescue Pepper Potts saves them, and both baddies run away. Oh, Doctor man, Strange and chips. Thanos work together to fix the time continuum and stop quote-unquote present Thanos. How many Thanos are there? How many Hulks are there? How many Captain Americas are there? I feel like Captain America's already died three times in this movie. Now, how many nipples between all of them are there? 69. That's Thanos an odd number. Second nipple. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanos has one nipple. It's on the back of his neck. 
<laughs> Congratulations, you you made a sixty nine joke funny. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Strange and Thanos meet with Red Skull. Are you okay? <coughs> I was drinking water <laughs> when you said that. What? <laughs> I don't even remember because I'm focused on the fact that I'm joking now. I just said good. That's all I said. That's all you said? Why was yeah. I laughing at that? I don't know. I don't I even remember still, now. I, I think, think I like still lost. still laughing at the 69 I joke. Probably, I think I lost oxygen to my brain, not from choking, but because I laughed at a dumb joke. <laughs> Oh no, there's another trailer for that Men in Black movie. I just got a notification for it. That's scary. Anyway, uh, which Men in Black movie? Uh, Strange and Thanos meet with Red Skull. Gamora hits with that's them. Not, that's oh. not Men in Black. That's, that's Thanos. Gamora is, Thanos is with Men in Black? She blames Thanos for... Oh god. For everything being fucked up. Red Skull claims someone else is using the stones for an evil... Never seen before in any universe, hence the Living Tribunal and the Celestials deciding to join up. Hulk tries to use the gauntlet to undo the snap, fucks up even harder, universe ends. Hmm. <laughs> Captain America and Rescue are trying to figure out you what happened what? to Tony. How about we just make that the end of it? That's no. the end of the MCU right there. No, because that's only halfway through this. Captain no, America no, 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 I mean, like, the video can go on, but, like, how about we just end the MCU right there? No, because the there's more to the movie, clearly. Well, yeah, but it's obviously a different universe. Duh. I don't know. Captain America and Rescue are trying to figure out what happened to Tony. No one knows. Captain Marvel appears and claims everything is fucked up. Nick Fury explains Yeah, it sure is. The universe They are exploded. in a different dimension. Doctor Strange finds the second gauntlet with Hulk attached to it, dormant. They all... Uh, uh, dormant? They all meet up with the version of Captain America and rescue. Thanos decides to try and take the gauntlet for himself. Huge battle. Thor, Loki, Hela, and Odin show up and kick Thanos' ass. Captain Mar Marvel uh, claims something is off. Army of Ultrons out of nowhere, led by Hank Pym. And then Gandalf and the, the Grey and Gandalf the White and Mighty Python in the Holy Grail's Black Knight. This time he gets flashbacks and previous memories, possibly by someone in the Quantum Realm. He goes to the Avengers headquarters when these flashbacks tell him to send a message to space. Halfway through the movie, Thanos dies again. This is the third time Thanos has died. Odin uses the gauntlet and rectifies time and space. Tony Stark is in space, trailer scene, and he sends the message to Pepper. He is heading towards nothingness. Nebula is not with him. Avengers meet up with Captain Marvel, who knows something is off and describes me to meet the <laughs> decides to meet the Living Tribunal with company of Doctor Strange. Strange feels something off as they didn't finish the mission or something. Yeah, Spider Man sure hugs it. Tony, but also senses something is wrong. Things are get fucking weird now, so you guys better prepare yourselves. What? So I feel like I've read this before. So I've read this before because. I've read this before because I sent it to you a long time ago, but I do not remember it. I certainly do not remember it. I probably was, like, at work or something and didn't read it. Because <laughs> that happens Strange a lot. And, Strange and Captain Marvel meet with the big guy. Stan Lee cameo as the Beyonder. He says something about death and being a true hero. It's a t shed tearing moment, as if Disney knew that it was going to happen. They are met by Tony Stark in the Milano. Stark hold rejoices up, when up, he meets. Hold up, hold up, hold up. This is now a conspiracy theory video about how Disney assassinated Stanley. I already predicted that Sony killed Stanley because of the Spider Verse cameo. Oh. Sony did it. It's an inside job. Like Remy. Yes. No one's gonna. They are get met. That. They are met by Tony Stark with the Milano. Stark rejoices when he meets Strange. If you are here, who is with the Avengers? They go back there. Apparently there are two Tony Starks and one of them is Eternity masquerading. Tony Stark's ship 
kept on going until he meets the Celestials and they give him the power to undo Thanos, quote unquote snap. He becomes immortal and goes through time trying to undo all heroes instead, claiming the cost is too high. Stark becomes known as Kang the Conqueror after he starts destroying the space-time continuum. At this point, he's attacked by Crossbones and Mordo. They have Ronan with them and Marvel and the Ancient One. They reveal they are trying to resurrect <laughs> Thanos and to end Kang plans. Uh, climax yeah. of the movie <laughs> is all characters in the MCU versus Kang the Conqueror. You think the Thanos fight was amazing? You just wait. Odin teaming up with rescue Captain Marvel and or original Wasp to throw a blast that rips time and space. Odin teaming up with rescue Captain Marvel in the original. Oh wait, no, I already read that. <laughs> Captain America finds out that there is only one way to stop Kang and Doctor Strange agrees they have to kill the original Tony Stark. Captain America fights everyone, almost trying to protect Tony. Tony cries in Steve's arms. Vision and Ant-Man get the stones from Kang. Where did when did Vision come yeah, back? When did Vision come back to life? Or all well, Uber characters do, Does when did it does come Vision, back? Does Vision count as a life? Does all He's Uber characters entity? get one stone. Odin gets reality. Oh Hank God. Pym gets mine. Ancient One gets time. Quill gets power stone. Captain Marvel gets space stone. And Strange gets a soul what stone. A... Tony sacrifices himself by what getting Iron Man was... inside Kang with his gauntlet and fun- the funnel the power of the heaven. stones to end Kang How once is... and for all. Does all is finally soul? over. Does he have a soul? Do... Pepper tells Steve she is with child. Spider Man has a moment with Groot. Odin thanks Strange. There is more. Living Living Tribunal and Stan Lee thank the Avengers. Some bad guys group up and go away. Captain America and finally says Avengers assemble with the whole cast in front of him. There are three end after credit scenes. I'm losing my mind. That's maybe what makes life itself is keeping your mind together. And only Vision First can do that. First one comes right off the cast. Ulysses Claw, Crossbones, Mordo, and but Loki no, meet up with an hooded figure. Hooded Vision figure says gonna... he requires the Infinity Stones. He turns around. If... It's Ultron. mid credit scene. What is this Living movie? Tribunal no, and the have... Celestials are judging Thanos. They all void. stop when someone says they were bl- all blind to the, the real threat. Keanu Reeves appears as Adam Warlock. End credit scene. Peter Parker finds so some out someone so stole so something from Iron Man and is going after this quote unquote mysterious know, character. There's a he's photo like at the a, very end like with all the characters together I saying like farewell to Stan Lee. Yeah. Uh Vision is just a crystal gem from the Steven Universe. <laughs> <laughs> he's just a crystal gem. Hold well, on. He's a gem at least. Let's talk about a few things here. Because this I'm is losing the my mind over philosophy right now. This is the perfect one to like just explain why there are like linking things in these theories. Is this the one that started it all? No. Oh, okay. So, first off, let's start with the living tribunal thing. There was a rumor around the time Infinity War came out that Benedict Cumberbatch shot a scene with a lot of CG where he had a discussion with an entirely CGI character and that it was filmed with like barely anyone in like the on the set with him and stuff like that. There's no evidence supporting this. Someone said it. Hmm. And I want you to know that whenever the actual leaks, the actual plot summaries were coming out, people were like, this can't be true because, like, what about the Dr. Scene scene? Dr. Strange scene. And it's like, no. Dr. Scene scene? Yeah, sorry. Nice. But, like, it's like, it's like, really, come on. There's nothing ever confirming that. Anyway. Yes. Ronan, uh, not Ronan, um. (laughs) Which Ronan? I or an A? Uh, what's his face? Kang. Tony being Kang. I have no clue where that began, but someone said it and it just stuck, and everyone was trying to put it in their theories. Mm. And I think it mostly had to do with the fact that they were getting ready to buy Marvel. Mm. 
Mm. Right, I mean, I mean, Fox. Well, what if they just shut up and <laughs> that's it? Just like how there's been like a lot of like leaks and rumors that there are going to be X Men in the oh. end credit scene of my, my computer uh, monitor end game. Asleep. Um, that's not going to happen. Well, he, here's my proposition. How about we just we snap and half of or no not half uh all of the end game fans including myself disappear until the movie comes out and then once it comes out we come back no time is missed and from our minds we just come back the movie's out already and we don't have to theorize about anything and that's it <clears throat> i also like how everyone is talking about like everyone's like stan lee cameos are like bigger than stan lee cameos ever are and it's just because he had died yeah stan lee looked at me in the screen right into my eyes and said i'm dead now motherfucker and then he grabbed jesus's hand and he said <clears throat> y'all are stuck on this bitch of an earth <laughs> and yeah. that that was his cameo that's why I said prepare to be disappointed about his cameo, because it's just a Stanley cameo. No, I'm sure. It's no um, it's no <clears throat> more interesting than any of his others. Well, that's how it is on this bitch of an earth. <laughs> yeah. Enough said. Um So is is that all from your leaks here? <clears throat> I felt like I had something else I wanted to say. I guess my the, the, the point of this is, while leaks and rumors are fun to speculate on, don't fucking take them for absolute certainty. Unless there's, like, yeah. actual evidence supporting it. Yeah, I'd say that goes for just about anything, actually. Just... Because there was an endgame leak way back right after Infinity War that was pretty accurate for the most part. Yeah. Uh, based on what I'm hearing about endgame. E everyone, <clears throat> everyone's gonna muddy the water. Yeah. yeah. And the I reason mean, why look, his... Look, look, at, well, look at the Grinch leak, for example. Well, no. So here's the thing. That guy's leak I believed because he had leaked infinity war beforehand oh okay like just keep in mind what your leaks are coming from i would always take it with a grain of salt even if it's from a reliable I mean, yeah. source because they could cut stuff out for all you know they could completely but it's like it's like the it's like how like the entire plot of godzilla has been leaked for like months right and it's so. and Every uh, teaser and trailer keeps confirming more and more of that plot leak, and it's just like, yeah, that leak was legit. Whatever that guy <laughs> says, I'll probably believe. And now the plot is basically just completely out at this point. So, uh, I, I, I kind of teased you a bit before we started recording, and a little bit into I know recording. I I have some blue balls. That I have a leak that I found... And it was so good, I thought I had to share it with you. <clears throat> I'm excited. Bruce Banner becomes the smart Hulk right before the final boss of the movie, who is Liquid Thanos. As he becomes big and buff and a total hunk, Black Widow makes out with him immediately, concluding their love. Thanos then kills Black Widow, which makes Hulk smash. Thanos is crippled, and Captain America delivers the final blow to the Mad Titan. After his death, Gamora and Peter make out on top of his nearly dead corpse, while Gamora delivers the final blow to break his heart. You weren't my hold real- Hold on, hold on. I thought you were talking about Peter Parker. Oh, yeah, I was. I was. And... <clears throat> <laughs> After his death, Gamora and Peter make out on top of his nearly dead corpse while Gamora delivers a final blow to make Thanos' heart break. You weren't my real father. You are <laughs> of worth to me. 
My hatred is to make up for your love. It's equally balanced, as all things should be. And then Quicksilver comes back. That's... <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> so, you might know it. You, you you probably know at this point that this is in fact some bullshit. Bullshit. <clears throat> uh, I know for a fact it's some bullshit. This bullshit. this is a leak of a leak, by the way. Just by so the you way, know, guys. Yes. If you're like savvy, you can get the final battle of. Endgame on your phone real easily. And why is By that? just joining some, like, Discord chats. Oh, man. Like, I could click this link that I'm looking at right now and download it onto my phone. Are you gonna... Have you already seen clips, or have you... Are no. you gonna wait out? Huh. I'm gonna wait it out, but I'm gonna download hmm. that. So... Like right after i see the movie so i can watch it again because from what i hear it's 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 like the final battle yeah um so we're finally here end game is right around the corner we're 10 years into this and we've been waiting an entire year for this specific specifically so now i gotta ask which was harder this or no nut november <laughs> uh, see the the there's inherently a flaw there yes because you can fail no nut november i can't fail waiting for endgame to come out it will happen well, no, what, I, I meant more so, like, in regards to, like, the leaks coming out, the leaked footage. Oh, I don't give a shit. Oh, okay. Well, you don't give a shit about No Nut November, either. I failed No Nut November the minute it started. I failed it the millisecond it began. It was... In fact, I am fairly certain midnight, I was masturbating midnight when clock hit midnight, midnight. Midnight struck, and I was like, ah, Cal... <clears throat> Like I am fairly certain, legitimately, I was jerking it. Yes, but you you could have just not finished and then, <clears throat> right? <clears throat> oh, fuck. But no, I nutted. Oh, okay. Well, I knew you could all. You I, could, I failed you within the first hour of No Nut November. Well, I know for a fact. Congrats. I did. Maybe maybe we can. Because I mark it on my calendar. Maybe every time I fucking nut. <laughs> Maybe we can live stream it this it's year. A little X in Ma the corner. Maybe we'll actually have content in November, and we can live stream it this year. <laughs> I put little X's in the corner. Oh, I just I just put it on. That I, nut. I just put a giant X on like the the entire brick. Like that's how I actually count days off my calendar. And yeah, here, but what come multiple times in one day? Well, here's the thing. The X is actually written in the fluid itself. Well, here's and the if thing. if I'm I do if I do it more than one day, then like I'll ju I just kind of like fill it in, maybe like put some like some sparkles on it, some glitter, uh, here's the a thing. happy I'm just face stick. Because what I really do oh. is I come in a bottle, oh. an itty bitty little vial. Yes. Actually, um, I come in a vial, and yeah. I store it. And I have uh -huh. a vial for every time I've nutted since the first time I've masturbated. Oh, really? No. Mm -hmm. And when was that? Uh. Back in '86. Middle. No, it was in middle school. So back in '86. I got really pissed off at a friend, and then I decided to look at porn to cool off. Uh -huh. And then. And then you were like, "What myself. if I actually like try?" <laughs> Well, no, it was like I just kind of rubbed my penis or something, then it came, and I was like, huh. Wow, that was two seconds that I'll never get back. It was weird. I, it freaked I, me out. It got on the toilet seat, and I thought I was going to get my sisters pregnant. Oh. Uh, um, one of the funniest questions I've ever been asked is, <clears throat> can you get pregnant from oral sex? <laughs> 
And the answer is yes. If you try hard enough, you can. Listen up, kids. Be holy. Read the Bible. Don't do oral sex. Hey, don't do any yeah, sex because it'll get you pregnant. Really, kids, read the Bible. You'll know more about Christianity than Christians do. <laughs> uh. And with that... Is that it? I bid you adieu. Yeah, well... We're right around the corner from the end here, I suppose. So, <clears throat> without further ado, we're Bootleg Anxiety. You all have a good night. At the very least, have a night. We're signing out. Take it easy. Uh, Mega nut. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Mega nut. Mega nut, mega nut, mega nut. I get the last word this time, you little shit.